Hundreds of Virginians converged on the Lunkins Jail site, located in the northwest parking lot of the Richmond Main Street train station, to celebrate the unveiling of 17 slave trail markers. The slave trail markers are located throughout the city of Richmond, and each displays a little history of slavery. Since 1998, the Richmond City Council's Slave Trail Commission has made it their priority to preserve the history of slavery in Richmond. And they believe that the Richmond Slave Trail markers, like these, will serve to recognize those regrettable times in history. Delegate Dolores McQuinn, chairman of the Slave Trail Commission, continues to work to bring this recognition to Richmond. The Richmond Slave Trail Commission is working to create an international destination right here in Richmond, Virginia to create a heritage district, a slavery museum, a genealogy center, and Lumpkins Jail's pavilion. And the unveiling of these markers today is a first step toward that goal. Recognizing the history of slavery was an important theme of this celebration. And some attendants felt this was an opportune time to protest about another issue that involves VCU still owning a parking lot near the Lumpkins jail site, a lot where a slave cemetery is known to be located. Governor Bob McDonald, one of the renowned speakers at the event, was able to make some announcements concerning the issue. I'm delighted to tell you that this week I'm going to sign a bill that I asked to be introduced by Senator Marsh and Delegate McQuinn that will transfer this property from BCU to the city of Richmond. But hearing this is not the main reason why most attendants came out to the celebration. Tony Hutchison had another reason. I came out today because I think it's important that we commemorate events like this. I think it's important that we tell our, all of our history, not just certain parts of it. And I think it's good for the racial hill in this country. The Richmond Slave Trail runs from South Richmond to downtown to Shaco Bottom. Visitors, as well as residents, are all encouraged to walk the four-mile long trail. For CNS-TV, I'm Destiny Shelton.